Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. How's everybody doing today? Welcome. Today, I got something exciting. I've been wanting to do this for a while. We are going to put dual GPU setup in a single PC. Why do I want to do that? Because I want to take the advantage of the 4090 and everything that she can do in the gaming department and then live streaming, video recording, and other applications I want to put on the 4070 Ti. So, with that being said, ah, one more thing. Currently, uh, this is my PC build that I have right now. We've got a uh, Asus Prime A motherboard in there. It's just not high end enough to run these two dual GPU setup. So we're going to install the Z790 Hero, which has two PCIe 5.0 slots. So it should run X8 and X8. So let's check out performance on both ends, the gaming, recording, streaming, and let's get to the build. All right, we got her built here. She's nice and light. Oh, man, she does kind of look like Shamu at SeaWorld or uh, Frankenstein with these white cables. I'm probably going to change those out. I've got some black fast gear cables here for each GPU. That'll help with routing and make it look a lot cleaner. We also are running the 1200 power watt supply from Asus and which I think should work just fine. We went with the 4070 Ti instead of a 3090 Ti because it's supposed to have less power draw. So this 1200 watt power supply should be able to handle that just fine. But with that being said, let's see if she's going to fire up here, which she should. So we got the power supply on. 
So far, so good. She's running, nice. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and change these cables out, get this uh, looking a little cleaner, and then we're gonna put it on the two monitors I've got, and we're gonna test and see what we get. All right, she's completed. Uh, I think she looks a lot better with the two fast gear cables that are black. Um, I can still tidy up some of the fan cables at the bottom and the top. I'll pull those behind the case, tie those suckers up, make them look a little bit better. Um, side note, I did go ahead and add more DDR5 RAM. So now we're running 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM instead of 32. I want to make sure that she has enough juice. With that being said, let's see what she can do. Let's go. Okay, I wanted to give a quick overview of the setup so you can see what we're working with for this test. On the left, I've got the Alienware 34-inch QD OLED ultra-wide monitor. And in the center, the primary monitor is the LG 4K 144 hertz monitor. The left monitor, which is the Alienware, is plugged into the 4070 Ti, and it'll be running multiple programs. We've got OBS open, we've got Discord open, I've got seven or eight, 10 Chrome tabs. We'll probably even put on YouTube TV and run it as well. The main monitor is running the 4090, and that will be the gaming monitor that we're gonna use for this test. Now that we have everything set up, let's take a look here at Task Manager. We're running the i9-13900K in GPU 0, it is the 4090. GPU 1 is the 4070 Ti. Both are, are running on the two monitors that I showed you earlier. We're running 144 hertz at 10-bit color on the, Ali, or the LG. The Alienware, 144 hertz at 10-bit color. Let's take a look here at GPU Z. Here's the 4090. It's running at X8 4.0. It is in a PCIe slot 5.0. Let's take a look at the 4070 Ti. It is also running X8 at 4.0. Let's go to the motherboard, the Z790 Hero. We've got it installed correctly. CPU also is registering. We have about 10 Chrome tabs open, OBS open, Discord open, MSI Afterburner open. We're also watching a Twitch stream currently, and I'm watching ESPN on YouTube TV all on the side monitor. We are also recording in 4K HDR. Let's go ahead and take a look at the output here for recording. As you can see here are my recording settings, CQP 16.1. P5. Also note, I'm going to be putting a video out because anything over P5, as you can see here, we'll go to the sensor, 4070 Ti. The video encoding load, video engine load is 51% right now while we're recording. If you do anything above P5, for example, P6 or P7, it will crash the encoder. I'll be putting a video out on that. Again, this is 4K HDR recording. High quality, Full resolution, main 10, no look ahead, no psycho, and GPU 1 is the 4070 Ti. Now, we've got everything installed correctly. Let's see how the benchmarks turn out while we are running all these programs at the same time, recording on the 4070 Ti and playing the games on GPU 0, which is the 4090. I'm going to go ahead and give about a minute recording of a couple different games so we can take a look at the benchmark.
is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Now we are done with the dual GPU benchmark test. I wanted to run one more just to see the difference. So I have since removed the 4070 Ti and we're currently going to run the 4090 by itself. Same settings, same CPU. And as you can see here on GPU Z, we're running at X16. Same CPU, motherboard, everything's the same and running at X16 here. Now, also, I wanted to show you that we're going to record in the same settings as well, which is CQP 16.1 P5, high quality, full resolution, main 10, which is HDR, look ahead off, psycho off, and we have switched to GPU zero, which is the 4090. We're going to rerun Fortnite and see if the benchmarks are similar, better or worse. Let's take a look. Okay, now that we're done with the benchmarks, I wanted to note that all the games that you saw that we benchmarked, uh, they were set in max settings possible, ultra, high, mystic, um, whatever was available. And for example, if ray tracing and anti-aliasing were available and supported in those games, they were checked, just so you have that for a data point. Now, when it comes to a dual GPU setup that this test is about, and you are wanting to stream, record one GPU, and gameplay the second GPU for OBS. As it turns out, the data shows that a single GPU would be better suited for that compared to a dual GPU setup. And something that I that noticed, for example, the temperature was different. There was a 12, there was a 12 degree Celsius difference in a single GPU setup from the 4090 versus the 4090 and 4070 Ti put together. I thought that was interesting, even though it, the system's air-cooled. Just so you know here, we've got a, when this 4070 Ti and the 4090 were together in the computer, the 4070 Ti was 33 degrees Celsius running on average, and the 4090 was 66 degrees Celsius running on average, which is still fine in the air-cooled system that we have built. But a single 4090 by itself in the same, in the same case and same build uh, GPU zero, which is the 4090, was running 54 degrees Celsius. So there is a difference of 12 degrees there, if that matters to you, and for some people it does. Um, I thought that was interesting. Also, in terms of the frame rate, for example, on average, there was a difference of 24 frames recording 
on OBS at max settings in 4K HDR and playing the game. There's a difference of 24 frames, so the single GPU is the winner there. There are applications that the dual GPU setup I actually preferred and liked. Uh, for example, if you run more than two monitors or you have heavy applications like DaVinci Resolve and Blender and multiple other applications that are very heavy workloads, you can offset that by having each GPU run different monitors. I thought that was a plus. Um, there's many other applications that a dual GPU makes sense, but when it comes to gaming and recording for OBS by itself, it doesn't make sense. Now, I would like to rerun this test, but with a better, more high-end professional CPU. For example, like an Intel uh, Xeon or an AMD Threadripper, because we would be, have more PCIe lanes available to run each graphics card in X16 instead of X8. Uh, I've got, for example, here the Intel specs on the 13900K, and it says max number of PCI Express lanes is 20. PCI Express configuration up to 1x16 plus 4 or 2x8 plus 4. So we knew there was going to be a problem going into it, but I still wanted to do this test. So also, to recap something that's interesting, I wouldn't go out and buy a second GPU to run your OBS or help game performance. If you do have an older GPU and you say you're running 1080p and you've got a 3000 series graphics card or above and you're running really high frames, FPS, and it's way over what your monitor can handle to output to you. For example, say you're getting 360 FPS in the game and you got a 140 hertz monitor or 120, then it makes sense you could still, even in X8, you could put in a dual GPU, create more of a workstation computer and gaming computer, and then still be able to cap out your monitor and hardly hurt your performance. So that's something to keep in mind. There's a lot of other variables that, and many different things that I'd like to test also in this dual GPU, but I feel like I need more hardware to find the, optim the optimal settings for a workstation versus gaming computer for my personal needs. But I had a really good time doing this test. It was really interesting. Uh, I pulled my hair out a lot or it just turned gray, basically what it's doing, because uh, I had driver issues pulling this in and out, had a direct X12 issue, I uh, got all those solved, but as of right now, for a workstation, I probably am going to go to a dual GPU setup. When it comes to gaming and just recording gameplay or recording something in OBS, I'm going to stick to the 4090 by itself. And again, all my recordings are in 4K HDR, so those are many other variables at play as well. Um, I will be doing a video on my OBS settings coming up soon if you'd like to see those in 4K HDR. But uh, yeah, I had a really good time. So I hope you like this video. And if, and if you do, hit that subscribe button so I can put out some more content. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.